Alright guys, product spotlight today is the Zox. And this is the Zox Vertex Matte Titanium in extra large. This is like your adventure, your give me an off-road, on-road helmet. Basically you can do whatever you want with it. It's got the clear visor, it's got the sun visor, or you can take the visor off and use goggles. So this is what most guys consider your adventure helmet. Uh, you'll know I've been wearing the Fly Trekker, and guys, I think this is going to be an upgrade. Got a little sawdust on it where I've been working on the uh, where I've been working on the workshop here. Here's your Zox helmet bag. All right, guys, I really like this design. See how the chin seems to come down further? Like I kind of like that. So, your visor is adjustable, loosen it up, tightening these flatheads. There's your clear windshield, and then you have your release right here, which brings down your sunshade. So you do not have to wear sunglasses. You get the sunshade, but you can still feel the wind on your face. You can bring it up and down, just that easy. You can have them both down. However you want to do it. Uh, you've got some vents up here. You can see right down in there. That's very vented. You've got vents right here you can open and close. Uh, you're really surprised by the quality of the liner. That's kind of stretchy. You've got this whole spot. Uh, this is supposed to be an antibacterial liner. So of course it all comes out and it's washable. Uh, check out this clip. No more uh, regular chin strap action. You just adjust it to where you want, and then you can adjust it with the clip, and then it's got this little red pull tab. There. I'll say that. So, anxious to see how well that works out. But I put this on my head. And I don't know if it's because I've always got my GoPro mount on my Trekker or if it's because, I don't know why it is, but the Zox feels lighter to me. And I don't, I haven't compared the weights or anything. But let's go over the official list of features from Zox. It's a lightweight, multiple ABS shell that's, that's uh, Snell, uh, or, Dia, or Dot, and ECE approved. So, meets or exceeds the AMA standards, all that. Um, there's two different shell sizes and multiple EPS sizes that they use to get your size. So, I would say 2X and extra large probably sit, share the same shell. And medium and large and small and extra small. Uh, it's got the direct venting with on-off closures for the mouth vent and the rear exhaust venting. It's anti-scratch shield with easy removal for use in the most goggle types. It's got the SVS sun visor system with anti-scratch. Uh, quick release chin strap, I showed you that. Removable, washable, antibacterial treated interior. Can be used with or without peak and shield combinations for multiple looks and uses. So like I said guys, this will come right off. So you can use motocross goggles with it or whatever you want. So uh, I'll show you. We'll see how a dango works on it. So here's one of my dangos set up with the E-Lite. And that. Yeah, works fine. Now you are going to take away your mesh part because it's got a clamp. But, yeah, if you're probably, if you're wearing this, you're not really needing that anyway. So, um, there it is with the dango mount on it. Works perfect. Looks cool. So, yeah, um, probably what I'm going to do is start wearing my Trekker as more of an off-road helmet since it's getting older. And uh, this will be my more, my dual sporting helmet for now, so... I'm going to go ahead and order a uh, speaker kit 
so I can run my Lex into here until I can get my Cardo. And I've got the Dango for the front, and that should be good, guys. Just need like a RTI or an MX Guru sticker here on the back of the helmet. Oh, that would be sick, wouldn't it? We'll have to put something like that on the back. That would be sick. All right, guys. So that's the Zox Vertex, part number 88-34425 at MTA Distributing. So walk into your dealers and tell me you want a Zox from MTA. So uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you at the next product spotlight.